an. Maybe I should start filming when I actually know what to say. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to another video. My six-year-old son has requested for quite some time for me to make a doll with one foot. One big foot. Editing Matty here. I got it all wrong. He has provided me with a drawing of what he actually wants. It's not what I'm making here, but well, still fun video. And last week I made it, made something with frog arms, but used the wrong color. So I have an extra pair of frog arms. Now I also have an extra pair of human arms. I also have like, wait, let me show you. I have a lot of extra body parts. Some were field experiments. I mean, this hand is way too small. Or unfinished things. I don't know where the rest of this is. I... Yeah. Um... So, maybe I should organize it a little bit. I thought I'd make two of these arms, but I can only find one. Same goes for this one. And now here's the thought I had. What if I make the one-legged creature my son asked, but also give it all the arms? I suggest to him, and he was a big fan. So, that's what we're doing this video. I was thinking of starting with this foot, but then I realized that he might not think it's big enough and also this doesn't end with the um, 32 stitches that I like my connected legs to stop with. So I'm gonna design a whole new leg with one, one giant foot and I'll get back to you when I have a foot. No, let me explain a little more. I was thinking also to give it toes because that would just be really funny. And I am going to use all of my leftover yarns, all my green leftover yarns, and just make it a big stripy boy. That could be really cool, right? I'll make all the toes in a different color and then attach them and then, then attach them and stripe around up. So I'll get back to you when I have some toes. I have five toes. Wanna see? Oh, no, no, wait, I mean, I crochet five toes. Look. I was wondering why I felt so crappy. Then I realized it's already almost five o'clock and I have drunk, I drank literally one cup of water and one cup of coffee today. So here's your reminder, go drink something. I know you're dehydrated as well. But on to business, I have made all toes oh, and I've connected them and I've started with the second color I was kind of scared it might be too big, but I think it's going to work out. It's, it's going to be a big foot. I mean, it's going to be a big foot nonetheless. I just really hope when I continue crocheting that it will do this a bit more, but we'll see. Maybe it decreased in the wrong places, but it'll be fine. And my son doesn't like the toast, then I'll give him a shoe.
the doll, not my son, he has shoes. so hungry. I wish food would just magically appear like... Oh! Nice! Just kidding, I did make it. Go watch that while I eat. so much better but this you didn't think i was gonna eat all of it right that's for tomorrow it's fine anyways to give you a little heads up on where we are my battery is almost dead so um i had the back of the food but i didn't like it so i'm redoing that so now it's just working back and forth until we have a heel and then we're going in the rounds up so i'll get back to you when that's there also i increased a little bit over the over here and i think it worked out pretty nice the pinky toe is a bit weird still but aren't all pinky toes a bit weird <coughs> so yeah that's where we're at The first arms have been attached. Are you ready? Here he is so far. One big foot with arms that I still had lying around. On to the next pair of arms. Also, you may be wondering, probably not, but the toes seem different than I showed it before. That's because I lost two of the toes and I had to make them again. I found them though, so I have two extra toes. Okay, what I wanted to do for the body was take the pencil pattern and I figured out how to describe the pattern. It's two degrees every other round. But instead of doing two degrees every other round, I'm doing, doing two degrees and then three or four rounds. And then do another two degrees. So that's how to explain it. I was rambling before.
I met three pairs of arms. I do not know how to feel about this. I hope my kid will like it. <laughs> it is... I keep saying it every video, but this is the weirdest thing I ever made. Anyways, let's stuff it a little and then um, continue. Remember those two extra toes? Let's put them in here. And then I can see it has seven toes and people will be so confused and they won't understand until I explain it. And it won't be funny at all to anyone but me. I will be very entertained. Where are we at? We're at the sofa in the living room, but with the crochet. I have added all the arms and now it needs a head. And I was thinking about all the heads I have in the book and I think none of them are impressive enough to compete with this. I also want to make the head in a solid color. I'm thinking uh, this one. As you can see, a small head just won't cut it. So it needs to be giant. I want to make it the circumference bigger. So I'm just going to freehand the head as well. And we'll see how that works out. Because my son also wanted to add wings, by the way. Can you see it? I'm not sure if there's going to be any room for it. But we'll see. I'll get his opinion tonight. And if necessary, we'll add more tomorrow or this evening. Okay, I said I was going to get his opinion tonight, but actually not. They're arriving in 40 minutes. So I have 40 minutes to add a head because it would be way cooler if I could just show him with a head. So let's go. Meal prepping, doing the wash and getting coffee might have been a bit overkill. I mean, it is less hot than it was last week, the whole week. But it's not that much less hot. And now I'm hot because I was standing close to the stove and to the washer, which is in the same room. And now I have hot coffee, but I'm sweating. and I don't want to drink my coffee. But I do want to drink my coffee, but I don't want to get more sweaty. And now the sun is coming out, so... It might get even warmer in here. Why am I like this? Because thinking ahead and planning is not my strong suit. That's why I'm like this. But that also makes me very spontaneous and unusual, I guess. And that's kind of fun, I suppose. Always, this, this is a life tip. Whenever I encounter something that I did that I don't like about myself, I look at what causes that and then think about what that also causes that is a good thing and that I do like about myself. And that way I can just dislike the effect and not the cause. Because the effect are things that I can change, are things that I can prevent other times. But the cause, I cannot so much. I will never be a good planner. I will never be good at thinking of all the reasons why something is, is or is not a good idea. I will not be good at that ever. I can take steps to improve that part of me, but I can't fix it. So I need to think of things that are caused by that, that are not a bad thing, that make me happy actually, that are good things. Um, so yeah, that's my life lessons for today. Open dicht. Kijk maar. Uh.
Eigenlijk moet, moet het een normale lijf, maar dan niet zulke tenen. Ik wilde eigenlijk dat het meer, de voet meer hier zat, dat het eigenlijk hier nog een voet kon, maar die, deze voet telde eigenlijk dan niet. Ja. Oh. En dat hij eerst gewoon twee armen had en dat er eentje weg is gegaan. En dat twee oren en één oor weg is gegaan. Ah. Deze vind ik ook heel leuk. <lacht> Alright then, time for closing statements. Here he is with a big foot, five toes, twelve arms, antlers, and wings. I decided to spruce him up a bit, not make it naked boy, since the whole concept is not going to be used in the book. It's just a fun little side project. But I think he turned out pretty. Goofy. He has a very caterpillar feeling to it, but I like him. I like his face. His face is so adorable, don't you think? Yeah, I think someone will love him. I love him. Someone else will too. He's a bit hairy because my cat is shedding. But other closing statements... I don't really have any. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's all. If you liked it, like the video please and maybe leave a comment. Would be fun. So I know not a lot of people are watching this but that's fine. Thanks to another creator. Um, what's her name again? I'll put it on the screen. Thanks to another creator I was reminded that I didn't start this for the views. I started this because I want to finish my crochet book. Because I just really want to have that. Because I'm using it for myself. And I want it to be useful for myself. And I'm merely making it accessible. Just in case anyone else wants to use it as well. And, and vid making videos about it just helps me with little deadlines to keep going. And I like making videos. I like editing them. So that's a win. And oh, also shout out to another creator I don't remember the name of because I'm really bad at remembering things. Because she actually inspired me to start this whole video series. And I just realized that I never said that. And I really should tell you because her series of Roll for Inken is just so adorable. I love the whole concept of that book in general. But I felt like there could be more different legs and arms and bodies. And that's why I started my whole thing. But it was really her videos that inspired me to to do it, to go for it, and to make videos about it. So, thank you. And see you next video.